teaching your dog tricks is fun. But what if I told you there was one trick above all the other tricks that you could use right now that could be extremely beneficial to you? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about on this week's episode. We're going to get this week's episode going. Hey, everybody. How are you? And welcome to the Learn, Laugh, Bark podcast. I am your host, Jake, from On Dog Training Academy. We're an online dog training business. We have a course that's called Welcome Home. I definitely recommend you go check that out. If you're looking to get your dog a head start in, in their life and making sure they're set up for success, definitely a course worth checking out. And you can check that out at ondogtrainingacademy.com. What I want to talk about this week. So as you guys know, every month... At the, at the beginning of the month, we have an episode that is going to be more of like a training challenge for you. Something I want you guys to do now or this month, make it a goal to train your dog to it this month, that's going to be extremely beneficial. So we've been starting this since the first of the year. So in January, it was physical exercise. In February, it was mental exercise or something along those lines. And this week, this month... What I want you guys to do is teach your dog a chin rest. Now, this might sound like, hey, you're just teaching dogs tricks, and that's what we want to do is just teach our dogs tricks, and that is not the case. Well, kind of. I will say, a chin rest is a cute thing. And If you don't know what a chin rest is, it's basically where you teach your dog, to start with, you teach your dog, to when you give them their cue, you could say chin, you could say rest, you could say touch, you could put whatever command you want to it. But when you tell your dog to do it, they place their head in your hand and they basically rest their head. Hence the word chin rest, right? They rest their head in your hand and then you end up rewarding them, whatever. And it sounds cute and it is. I think it's a really cute trick, but this has real life use that can be extremely beneficial to you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So this is going to be your challenge for the month. I want you to teach your dog a chin rest. Now, if you're looking for, I can give you kind of a, a, the gist of how I would teach it, but if you're looking for videos, there's a lot of videos online that kind of talk about how to train it. Um, I'll talk about it in the end here about how I kind of introduce it. Um, but one of the big benefits to teaching your dog a chin rest is it gives your dog something to do. Now I have been a huge supporter of high level obedience training to help trump behavior issues, right? So <clears throat> we had a dog, Cato, that was very dog reactive, mostly male dog reactive, but he was dog reactive. And we were able to, and I should give my wife props for this, my wife Jenny was able to take him to shows and compete in obedience trials with him when there's hundreds if not thousands of dogs around because she put so much control and obedience on him that he knew this is my job and it doesn't matter what else is going on around me, this is what I have to do. So even though I may not like this other dog that's coming up walking past me, I can't do anything because mom's giving me this job to do. And that's kind of why I like the chin rest because you can use it. You can use it to give your dog something to do instead of fuss. And we'll get into that a little bit more <clears throat> in a second. What I also like is that it shows your that your dog is an active or willing participant in their care. So for example, you're at the vet, right? And the vet's like, hey, I need to give shots, whatever. Well, instead of having your dog messing with the vet, either trying to be social and say hi to them or, or whatever, you can just Give them their chin, their chin rest command, whatever that is that you choose it to be. Dog does it, and the dog knows I just got to keep holding it till food comes, no matter what's going on. And the, the vet can then examine them, take their temperature, give them meds, whatever. You know, it's just the dog then starts to understand, okay, when these things are going on, I do a chin rest. It makes them an active and more willing participant, as opposed to just grabbing their face and trying to hold them in place or 
or trying to shove treats in their, in their mouth or something or just wrestling with them as things are trying to get done. Giving them that job, I think, is extremely, extremely beneficial. The other thing is if you have a dog that needs any sort of behavior modification. Now, this can obviously be – this can be – Dogs that are aggressive, dogs that are have fear and anxiety stuff. It can be a lot of different things. But if you have dogs that are dealing with that, a chin rest is super nice. Like if I'm out, and we used to, I think we used to do this with Cato. When we were out at a show, uh, and, well, actually, we used to do touch. And that's something we'll probably cover eventually here, too. Same concept, where if I wanted him to be focused because we weren't going to go compete yet, but we're just sitting there. I could, instead of saying his name and doing all this stuff, I would just teach him the rest command or chin rest command and reward him and just play that game with him along with a few others. And on top of that, like I mentioned, it just allows your dog to be, to understand the assignment basically, where, hey, I'm going to clean out your ears. I'm going to clean out your eyes. I have to do these things. I'm going to brush you. So do a chin rest and then I'm going to brush you. All right. The last one, and I think this is a, probably one of the cooler ones, why I like teaching the, the chin rest, is, is it allows your dog a more comfortable, calm state, or at least the presence or the, the look of a calm state. And the benefit to that is, is what I'm going to talk about next, which is what are you teaching them to target? So initially, you're teaching your dog to target a palm. Right, so you put your you put your hand out and kind of cup your hand, and then the dog puts their their chin on your hand, and they're good to go, and then they just kind of put the pressure there, almost like your head their head is in your hand, and there's weight there, but you can also teach a few other things. Okay, when we start the training, we're starting with a palm, but then you could eventually go to teaching them how to target a towel. Right, put your head on the towel. Well, that's great if your dog needs their head dried off, if you need to administer meds, like I said, cleaning their ears, different things like that, where you're going to be introducing uh, uh, some sort of liquid or something that could be messy, right? Teaching them to put their head on the towel. You can also teach them to put their head on a table. I've seen people do that where they have a little coffee table or something. I'm not a big fan of teaching my dog to put their head on a coffee table, but you could also do this on a chair or do whatever, and you have them put their head on it, and then you're able to brush them. Right. The last one, and to me, this is the one where I've never taught it this way or for this reason, but it's a great reason. And that is you teach them to put their head in a lap or the arm of a chair or wheelchair. And this is really good for therapy dogs or people who interact with the elderly on a high level and you want them to interact appropriately. You can teach them, you know, you go up, you put your head on their lap and they get pet for it. They do whatever. Super valuable, I think. And then obviously the wheelchair. We don't want them jumping on people or anything like that. So teaching them, you go up, you put your head on the wheelchair arm and you get pet. There's your reward. So how do we go about training this? Again, I think it's pretty simple. I think all you have to do, and you can look these videos up, but I'll give you kind of a quick little thing. You hold your hand out and you you hold your hand out and you arc it a little bit. Like you're looking to grab a little bit of water in one hand. And then you take a treat in your other hand. You put it on your dog's nose. You guide your dog's nose over your hand. And as soon as you feel their, their chin touch your hand, you mark it with a yes and you reward them. And you do that over and over to the point where you're putting your hand out and the dog starts to offer the chin rest to get the treat. Because they go, oh, every time you put your hand out, you then guide me to it. And we go through that. Once they're doing that, then you can now move your hand around and you can start putting a word to it. So I'll go, your, your word could be rest, head down, touch, whatever. Let's just say your, your word is rest. We use rest for stay. We don't say stay. We say rest. But let's just say for this sake that your, your chin rest command is, is rest. So you go rest. You guide them to your hand. Once there's pressure on your hand, you mark and reward it. Rest. And you just keep doing that over and over. Then you're going to take your hand and you're going to bring your hand to your lap. Or you're going to bring your hand to a towel. And so so now suddenly your hand is sitting on a towel. And you're going to guide your dog. You're going to do the same thing. And then after a while, you're going to to put your hand down 
on whatever it is you want them to rest on, you're going to give them that rest command. And as they're moving towards it, you're going to take your hand away and get them to put pressure down, their head pressure down on the towel, the arm of the chair, on your lap, whatever. It's a slow transition, but it's really easy once the dog understands the concept of what your what the chin rest is, it'll start to just bleed over and be able to be worked through in a lot of different things. And I again, this is a trick that you're using positive reinforcement for this. It's going to stay as a happy thing because if you're using, especially if you're using it for like vet stuff, you want it to be positive. And because you're doing that, this is teaching your dog a trick that isn't shake. It's not roll over. It's not play dead. It's not sit pretty. This one has actual usable benefits to it. And I think this is going to be your challenge for this month is start to work on this. Get your dog to start to know what the chin rest command is. And if you find this useful um, and you, you successfully do it, feel free, whether it be in YouTube or on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever, put pictures up and tag us in it. We want to see you guys doing chin rest stuff with your dog. So you can certainly tag uh, On Dog Training Academy on, on your posts that you make uh, with your dog doing the chin rest. So we'd be really interested and excited to see those things. So please, if you are doing this, make sure you tag us in the, in the, in the photo. Um, but you know what? Make this be your challenge for this month. I think it's, it's a fun one for the dogs. A lot of dogs that are food motivated will get this really quick. And it's so beneficial. It's absolutely beneficial. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you found this useful, make sure you share this with friends. Make sure you, if you're on YouTube listening to this, make sure you uh, like this episode. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our YouTube, wherever or YouTube, our podcast, wherever you're listening to it from, guys. We really appreciate the feedback and 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 the reviews and everything that come in. So please leave a review uh, if you feel so inclined to do so. And um, I just I think this is a really going to be a really helpful thing for you guys and your dogs. So guys, thank you so much for listening this week. And like always. We'll see you next week. Good dog.